Hello, this is Sharon from SC Statistical Programming. So uh, starting uh, this chapter, we'll talk about ODS. So ODS is short for Output Delivery System. So this system gives you greater flexibility in generating, storing, and reproducing uh, SAS procedure and the data step output, along with a wide range of formatting options. So uh, we can use ODS to produce different types of formatted output. So here I put a list of formatted output we can use ODS to produce. So we can use um, ODS to produce EPUB output. So this EPUB output will create an ebook for use with ebook readers. And also I can use ODS to produce Excel output. So this is we'll be using uh, very frequently in reality. And also we can uh, create HTM output, PDF output, and RTF output. So RTF output, this is actually is in this rich text format output. So it can be used with uh, Microsoft Word. And also we can uh, create PowerPoint output as well. All right, so next let's look at a uh, general form for ODS block. So um, in one ODS block, we can include ODS, this output destination one, and then we can include multiple ODS output destination. So that's why here I put output destination one through n. And also we can end this ODS block with this closing uh, statement, ODS destination close statement one, this one corresponding to output destination one. And then through close statement n, this one will be corresponding to the output destination n. And in between, you can insert your SAS program in between the block, all right? And also the file or body option, um, is valid for most ODS statement. So later I will let you know uh, what's this option for. Here I want to point is for file equal option is an alias for body equal option. So this options specify the name and the path of the file that you're generating using ODS block. All right. And uh, HTML output is the default destination. Therefore, when you request another destination, your programs create both HTM output and also the output in a new destination. So in order to prevent HTML output from being created, we can use um, this statement, ODS HTML close. But if you don't mind to have both output, you don't have to include this statement, okay? So here, I'm going to uh, import uh, a data file, which is an Excel data file, uh, into this SAS session. So let's run this import procedure. So for the import procedure, you should be already very familiar with it because I um, already uh, using that a lot. So this is the data set we created using the PROC import procedure. So this is the uh, score data zero, all right? It has a few variables here, and it has total 12 rows, or we can call it observations. So here is the ODS block. So I want to create three ODS output using three ODS destinations. The first one is this PDF destination. So this one, I want to create, use ODS, create a PDF file or PDF output. Here I use the file equal option because this file equal option or body equal option, uh, here I can use that to specify the name and the path of the file that I generate. So here I include the path or directory for my file. This is the path of my file and the name for the file, I give it as score data zero dot PDF because it's a PDF file. 
So score data zero is the data set name. For uh, simplicity, I just uh, put the uh, data file name here. And then I also want to create a RTF output using ODS. So RTF, if you remember, I just mentioned RTF is a rich um, word format. Once I create this RDF file, then I, I can use it in Microsoft Word. All right. So I include the same file path here, only I need to change the extension for the file because now it's an RTF file instead of PDF file. And then lastly, I also want to include a PowerPoint uh, destination here in order to create a PowerPoint output. So again, same path. The file extension is PPT here. And uh, the SAS program I want to include in this ODS block is a simple proc print procedure. So I just want to print out this input data set. And also I include the ID statement here because I want to show the ID variable is name instead of the uh, observation number. All right. So to close this ODS block, we can use three individual statement corresponding to each ODS uh, destination statement. So I show like this. First one ODS PTF close. This one corresponding to the first ODS destination statement. And then the second one RTF corresponding to second one. And then the third one PowerPoint. Uh, corresponding to the third one as well. So if you don't want to write three closing statements here, that is fine. You can use ODS and uh, underscore all underscore close. So with this one statement, you can close all the ODS destination here. So this is a simpler programming code you can use here, or you can list all three closing statements. Either way, we'll give you the same results. All right, so let me run this program. This part of program is the ODS uh, block program. Okay, see what we got. So this is the output from the result window. This by default give us a HTML output. So we can see the data set score data zero is printed here. And because in the proc print procedure, I used the ID statement. That's why it doesn't show uh, observation column, only show the uh, name column as the uh, ID column. Okay. So let's go back to the code window. So for the three output generated from this ODS block, we need to go to the files. So it's a uh, score data. Okay, start with S. All right. So let's look at these three files: score data zero PDF and score data zero PPT and score data zero RTF. So in order to open this, I need to download the file first. All right. So this is the download uh, PDF file. So let's open this. So this is the uh, PDF file I generated on March 6, which is the date I created this video. So you can see we have this uh, table. This is in PDF file. Okay, and go back to SAS Studio. Let's look at the second um, output file, which is PowerPoint. So again, right click on it. So I forgot to mention, you can either uh, press the open button or press the download file button like I did for the first file. So both um, button will give you the same result, which is downloading the file instead of directly open it. All right. So this time, let's try open. So you can see this PPT file is downloaded into my computer. So click on this. So the file is opened in PowerPoint. Well, we can enable editing. So this is the same output, but in PowerPoint uh, format. All right. 
So it can be uh, saved as one of the slide for your PowerPoint file. All right. So and then let's look at the last one, which is RTF uh, output. So again, it's been downloaded. So let's open it. So you can see the file is opened in Microsoft Word. Enable editing again. Okay. This is the same output, but in uh, RTF format. So we can open it and use it in Microsoft Word. All right. So. All right. So I showed all three um, output generated from this ODS block. All right, so this is it for today's video. In this video, we talk about ODS and I give you an introduction for this output delivery system. And also uh, we look at an example uh, using ODS block to create three formatted output. All right, so this is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.